The preliminary budget for Doniana County totals about $153 million. Anticipated revenues for fiscal year 2017 are expected to be around $137 million. The budget difference is made up with restricted reserve funds or saving accounts for a specific use. The rest comes from the county's general reserve funds, which Commissioner Billy Garrett says will be used for one-time costs. We've uh, allowed for about, um, I think it's about $6.8 million uh, out of designated and unrestricted reserves, again savings, for very specific capital projects and included in that are some additional uh, vehicles for uh, the Sheriff's Department and communication systems and things like that that, that are really important to, to make sure that we cover. Garrett says it's appropriate to dip into savings accounts for important improvements that need to be made. So when you've got savings, just leaving them in savings, you know, there's an argument can be made that the taxpayers aren't looking for us to sort of just stockpile money. Um, so I think this is a, a judicious kind of thing. We're still, we still have a good cushion in case something terribly goes wrong with the economy. But uh, we're not using reserves any longer for operations, and that's really important. Commissioner Garrett says even though the budget is tight, service levels should be the same throughout the county. I have not seen any indication that there will be uh, cuts in services. Um, the departments, of course, all put forward budgets that were beyond what we could afford, and so sometimes those were referred to as cuts when we brought it back down. But most of the programs are actually equal to or better funded than last year, or the, actually this current year. Um, so I, I don't expect for there to be any changes there. I, I think it, it's been important that we maintain our service level. As part of the cost-saving efforts, some positions at the county will purposely remain unfilled. Sheriff Enrique Kiki Vigil says he understands cost cuts have to be made, but he doesn't want to put people's safety at risk. So we're asking all the departments to make some cuts. Uh, so we're, we're willing to uh, cooperate, which we, we have uh, with the county manager. Uh, I just don't want to have them make cuts in my sworn law enforcement officers because then it puts me back you know, uh, I'm willing to give up some positions that I can possibly fill next year, next year's budget, you know. But uh, it's very critical that, uh, that they don't make any cuts in my uh, sworn law enforcement officers. Commissioner Garrett says they are looking to restore three sheriff's positions, including two captains, before final approval. The budget is now sent to the New Mexico Department of Finance, and then the commission will vote on a final approval in July. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.